Well, hi. I want to welcome you to the uh, historic Nike Missile Site. This uh, it belongs to the National Park Service. It's been here from uh, 1954 until 1974. It's an anti-aircraft missile defense system that was employed during the Cold War. The uh, first missiles here were the Ajax missiles at a range of 25 miles. In 1958, the Hercules missile was commissioned. And this had a range of 90 miles surface to air and 125 miles surface to surface. Um, right now in this building, this is the test and assembly building, there are no explosive components here. This missile is on a special trailer that has a collar and two pins. Um, these are the antenna uh, for the missile. This, was, this missile was uh, utilized some of the first applications of electronics. And, um, it, um, so they would test, put test leads on the antenna, pull the pins on the trailer, rotate it by hand, see if the elevons were going to correspond to the correct pitch and yaw, and um, after it tested okay, they'd wheel it on out of here, take it up to the warhead building, and that's where they would put a fuel cell in, attach a warhead, button it up, test the triggers for the warhead, put in safety plugs, and wheel it on up into the exclusion area. That's the humidity kind. So this was really empty here, or there was something inside? Um, no, this just this a radon. Inside here, just a radon. Um, they had on the yeah, nuclear was... warheads. They had a static barometric probe. Mm -hmm. which uh, enabled you to establish a minimum burst altitude for the missile. Um, we have one over here, a real one, which is kind of rare in anybody's collection. But this device here, wow. okay. um, you can see those little holes in the front. This is a gimbaled affair, and you can see where the uh, pneumatic tube would attach on the back. This screws right to the front of the missile. This would be indicative of a nuclear warheaded missile. Now they had this doghouse on here because this thing is so sharp that they had to protect the uh, personnel from getting poked or protect the static barometric probe. But you could establish a minimum burst altitude with this. Should the uh, missile go below the target altitude, it renders the nuclear device inert. Okay, so this one is a... That's a, a magnetron. magnetron. That pumps up the voltage. Uh, sends it up through the main waveguide, hits a screen, and bounces out. Mm -hmm. um, that's a magnetron for the missile tracking radar. Well, uh, a little bit lower voltage. Hmm. Same idea. Here's an interesting thing right here. This is a card that you would find in the missile. Now, these missiles uh, went extremely fast. They were Mach 3.65. They could outfly and outmaneuver any aircraft. So these are miniature vacuum tubes. This is vacuum tube technology. It uses capacitors, resistors, and vacuum tubes, which in the United Kingdom, vacuum tubes are called valves. They regulate electron flow. But this is a great example of the types of vacuum tubes that were throughout the system. That's a thyrotron tube that really pumps up the voltage. And the rest of these are used in the types of uh, circuits for control. Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah. So this is a W31 thing. Yeah, the warheads here, um, they were 2 kilotons, 20 kilotons, or 40 kilotons.